Hello, veteran 0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Final Fantasy IX. In the last episode, Garnett got her voice back. We acquired the Hildegard III, and the, El the uh, General of Alexandria joined our party as a fully fledged playable party member now, which is amazing. And like I mentioned in the last episode, she's completely integrated into the story. She will participate in cutscenes. Like she was always meant to be in the game to begin with, so yeah, that's amazing. Uh, I'm going to the wrong location here. I'm looking for, for some reason I was flying towards the yellow dot on my map. No, we want to go here. Alright, so we're going to land our ship here, right? And, uh, well, I probably should save my game one last time here. But yeah, my party is going to be Beatrix, Freya, and uh, Ico, mainly because I want them to level up. They're a little behind in levels uh, compared to the other characters. Plus, uh, for Aiko, I got her um, learning some abilities. Like for Aiko, she with the Hamlin flute, she can learn Karaga, the Might spell, and the Jewel spell, which are amazing. Uh, Dark Cat, and yeah, I don't have any. Well, I suppose I could give her something better, like this fucking red hat, right? Actually, I do want to give her the red hat because that will power up her Phoenix Summon. I didn't even think of that. Uh, Egoist Armor, yeah, that will help with um, shadow damage. White Robe, so she can learn Holy, of course. And then the Ribbon, she's going to work on uh, the Medine Summon. Along with Guardian Mog, which is uh, her support ability that does not actually work until you... Um, until you get the ribbon or until that story event at Mount Gullig. So even if you could have learned the Guardian Mog ability uh, earlier on in the game, it still has no effect until that, that story event. So there you go. But yeah, locomotion on everybody. I'm, I'm paranoid about getting stopped. Uh, a lot of enemies use that. And uh, getting stopped is bad. We don't want to get stopped. We gotta push forward, and if we're stopped, we can't push forward. And yeah, this uh, this fucking castle is upside down. So yeah, it's pretty strange, man. Everything is backwards here. And yes, Beatrix is in this little cutscene here, as you can see. She doesn't really do much, but she's there. <laughs> Which is more than... You know, if I was using cheat codes to hack her into the game. She does more in later cutscenes, though. I Okay, fine, go by yourself, douchebag. Yeah, I mean, let him go, Rusty. I mean, he wants to be Mr. Loner. Sure, why not? Uh, we're not going to change his mind. I think that this is a butt thou must situation, so yeah, let him go. Fine. Go right ahead. It's your own funeral. You don't even know what the hell is in there, dude. Oh, you're going to let him get a head start, too? That's not cool. So, yeah, again, uh, this is the party I'm going with, so here we go. Uh, with Freya, I could equip her with a lance that teaches her an ability called Six Dragons, but that ability sucks. I'll learn it some other time. But yeah, otherwise, in the meantime, she's going to be equipped with the Cane's Lance. Damn, I couldn't even equip her with an accessory, could I? Shit. Damn, man. Nah, I'll work on that later. Some other time, some other time.
This will work on this. Thankfully, all the treasures in this place, for the most part, are in chests. But yeah, uh, the gimmick for this place, like I mentioned in the last video, is uh, the treasures that you're going to get in here are going to be weak weapons. And weak weapons are actually strong weapons in here. And we get the Aquarius Stelazio. Otherwise, most of the treasures in here are pretty much crap. Uh, that door right here, uh, yeah, this door right here, we can't actually uh, open right now, but later on we will be able to open it. And there's a Moogle over here we can talk to and deliver a letter to. Yeah, where the hell, where the hell is Magnet Central anyways? Who the hell do we give letters to to complain? I mean, we can at least write to them and say that they suck, right? I suppose if the mail is screwed up, then uh, there's no guarantee that they would get the message then. <laughs> but yeah, you can buy stuff from this guy. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty weak stuff. Uh, except for the armor. Armor's okay, I guess. Yep, Cat's Claws for Amaranth, even though we can't actually use him. But hey, whatever. Now this pole here is interesting because if you try to go up, the game won't let you. Remember this for later on because, uh, well, later on we will be able to. It makes absolutely no fucking sense whatsoever. No sense whatsoever why we can't go up there now. But, you know, th that's what this game likes to do. It likes to make you miss items. Is that chest down there? That's another one that's kind of cryptic. That we can't get right now, but we will be able to get later. Alright, so we want to jump down this. Yeah, we want to go up first. And I guess we can go to the right. Get a chest for the broadsword for Rusty, but he will never equip it. Ever, ever, ever. All right. So in this room right here, in this little hallway, I know we can get into an encounter with a Tonberry. So I'm going to run around like this, back and forth until we run into one. Or actually, we'll actually run into a group of three of them, actually. Okay, we're gonna fight a veteran. You ain't no fucking veteran. You look like an Arimon, not a veteran. You look like an army Arimon from, uh, from Final Fantasy IV. Yeah, why do they call this guy a veteran in this game? This guy ain't no fucking veteran. What the hell, man? Yeah, I'm gonna show you how shitty Beatrix's physical attack is gonna be. In fact. I might be better served to just put her in the back row, to be honest. Yeah, skills are not affected by um, the weapon power in this place. Whoa, what are you doing? Oh, you just killed her. You son of a bitch. Oh well, Ico doesn't get experience. But that is a veteran. I don't know. Again, I, I think he'd be uh, it'd be more appropriate if they just called him his Final Fantasy IV name, Arimon. It's the same fucking enemy, right? Alright game, don't be retarded. Give me that Tomberry battle. Yeah, because you can't actually fight uh, Tomberries when you uh, when you complete this place. Like, as soon as this place is over with, then uh, Tomberries will no longer show up. But we got some more new enemies here. 
These guys are fairly easy. Yeah, we got a Gargoyle and an Agaris. I'm gonna use Medine on them. Because uh, that's what I do. I will show off Cherry Blossom. Well, I think I already have. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should show off that other one. If you're wondering if you can eat from those guys with Kina, you can't. Well, you can, but uh, you won't learn anything. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm not even sure you can eat some of the enemies in here. It'll just say, I can't, I can no eat, or I no can eat, or whatever the hell she says. Yeah, you know, I should just put her in the back row right now. She doesn't need to be in the front row. Alright, another new enemy. So basically, we've gotten all the new enemies except for the Tom Berries. Yeah, this guy likes to instant death kill you with his physical attacks. This guy will instant death kill you in this in this overhaul, so you gotta watch out for that. I can get blind on him. Yeah, this guy will instant death kill you with his physical attacks. How about that, huh? Wow. Isn't that bullshit? And he's dead. Oh well. Yeah, those guys suck now, man. They suck big time. They suck the big booty. They kill you, <laughs> they instant death kill you with their fucking physical attacks. Yeah, I'm gonna have to use regenerate, I think, in the next battle. For sure, especially if it's the Tom Berries, because we gotta kill them really quick. Because if you wait too long with the Tom Berries, they'll start using a uh, knife on you and everyone's grudge. And yeah, it's not good, it's bad, very bad. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Alright, needs Don's turn. Yeah, go with a little regenerate. Yeah, that ability is just awesome, man. Alright, so Medine. And, yeah, the Beatrix's skills are terrible when you have the Save the Queen equipped. 
because the attack power for the weapon sucks. Unfortunately, I do not have a higher uh, Night Sword to equip on her right now, so that really sucks. The only thing I can really do is cast Holy or other things, but there's really no point to do that. I don't know, I, I guess I could try like a few of these skills. Yeah, let's do a little Transcend, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Cherry Blossom again. These guys have a little over 10,000 HP. Come on, man. Hurry up. Do something. Let's see if this even works. Yeah, didn't think so. Buy time berries. Yeah, you want to kill those guys quick. Oh man, we're leveling up like crazy now. Sorry about that. Yep, we can't go that way. Oh well. Alright, so yeah, we want to get off here. So there is a treasure over this way. Yeah, we get some crappy stuff in here, man. Like, even if I. Even if this was the beginning of the game, I still rarely ever attack with characters like the princess with rods and all that kind of stuff. It's just garbage. Alright, so we want to. Examine this thing here. And we want to push this thing. And we want to pound this thing. Oh man, nothing's working. Why the hell are we doing what we're doing? Let's let's think about it here. Oh man, there's gotta be a way. Uh let's examine it some more. Let's Push it some more. Damn, man, this is frustrating. Yeah, let's do something drastic. Come on, Don. Use those monkey muscles. You can do it. Ah, fuck it, man. This is tiring. This wall's got to open somehow. <laughs> uh, yeah, good stuff, man. I love it. Anyways, after opening that up, the, the door below us opens up and we can get a barrette for female characters. So there you go. Um, nah, I'm just going to heal up MP here. I got to check the Don's gear. Okay, I don't need that anymore, so let's 
equip something with better spirit, like a mantra band. Lose a little magic defense, but that's all right. I, I want that spirit as high as possible. Oh, shit, man. We need to do some different things here. Here, I have a promo string. Here, have a Manisha shield. That should help you out. Alright, that should do it, I think. Almost, anyways. Yeah, I don't have any good auto abilities for her yet. I guess I can give her cover. I don't think the next boss uses Earth Attacks. Anyways, let's do it. Yeah, we're going to be facing a boss up here. Yeah, well, good for you, buddy. You had a head start. That's not fair. Yeah, how do you break the seal? Oh, you're going to, like, boast to us that you beat us, and yet you haven't even figured out anything about what we're supposed to be doing here. What do you mean it's no longer your concern? Okay, fine. Don't follow us around anymore. We don't need you. What, what, why are you going to be like that, man? I mean, we were we were cool for a long time there, man. Why are we going to be enemies the next time we meet? Yeah, man. Why is he being such a douche? I wonder, I wonder what Beatrix is thinking about, you know, with that guy. But yeah, last chance to adjust your gear if you need to. Protect it under the shaking ground, yeah, okay. So we get an earth mirror. And we get... A wind mirror. So yeah, basically all these, uh... This mural here is the world map. This is where we gotta go to uh, break all the seals with all these mirrors. Okay. Now let's try to get the hell out of here. But we all know that's not going to happen. At least not without difficulty. Terra's master plan. You gonna tell us about this master plan, Mr. Taharka? Now, there is one change to the steel list in this fight. Instead of an Aura Calcon dagger, which is the best dagger in the game, you can steal a Dark Gear from this guy. This is uh, <clears throat> most rare steel. Oh, look at that, he's putting, like, doom on us or something. <clears throat> what an asshole. 
Oh, luckily we have full life and we have life spells, so shouldn't be too much of a problem. Here, have a Phoenix Pinion. Oh, now you're draining health from us, huh? Oh, that must... Oh, Petrify, eh? See, I thought that was Doom. That was completely wrong. Oh, Mithril Claws. Come on, Stan. Bazaga. Oh, that is... I should have equipped body temp, man. Oopsie. Wow, that was close. Come on, Zatan. I, I give you spirit gear for a reason, buddy. You can steal. That is your one job in life. And yeah, man, this freaking. Train spells are actually kind of powerful. You fucker. Taking too long, man. Ow. You suck, Sedan. You, you suck. You suck at being a thief. You suck at it, alright? Usually I can get this shit like right away, man. At least the last time I played I got this shit right away. For some reason the game is being a cunt. Fuck you, man. This is taking way too long. What 
the fuck, man? Come on! Come on, you fucking... You fucking fool, dude. I can't believe you haven't stolen this shit yet. You suck. Now he's gonna start using trouble on us? I don't know. Stop it. <sighs> Fuck you. I want this freaking dark gear, man. Holy fuck. Wow, Beatrix. I got you in the back row and you're still dying. What's going on there? There we go, finally. Stole that freaking dark gear. It took you like forever. Steal one more time because I don't remember if he's got a fourth item or not. Okay, good. Good, good. Now we can start dealing damage. get silence on this guy. Alright, stop. How are you attacking so quick? Yeah, we got silence on him. All right, man. Time for a little transcend. Time, time for some burst damage. Yeah, we gotta get rid of this fucking trouble crap, man. Very bad. This guy has, if it hasn't been changed, this guy has just under 30,000 HP, by the way. So it's not too bad. Should be able to deal that fairly easily here. Maybe he's susceptible to blind, too. We'll find out. So, did it work? Can't even tell. But yeah, you don't want to use Holy in this game because uh, that regen effect that it can put on your target that you're trying to kill uh, it is too bad. It's too detrimental. You're, you're better off just not using Holy. The Medin summon though, on the other hand, you're okay. 
Because yeah, the Dean Summon, I don't know if I mentioned before, is Holy Elemental. I, yeah, I don't know what the mod author was thinking when he made Holy the way it is. Like, why is it put Regen on the monster that you're fighting? That's stupid. It's like the most asinine shit. the hell? Why did it deal so little damage? Why is... Is he compact? Is that what's happening now? I don't, I don't understand. Why the damage is so shit? Again, I don't... Oh. Well, this actually might bring Beatrix back, huh? Let's show off Phoenix. Okay, we, we gotta do something. Stop with the physical attack. Stop it. Stop it. What the fuck? Huh? What? Would you? That is terrible, man. Stop with the trouble status. How am I only doing, do, why am I only doing like 30 damage to this guy? Is there some kind of weird mechanic I don't know about with this boss? This guy is so fucking annoying. Does Cherry Blossom work? Do I gotta use a different skill? Can I use shock on him? I was using this. Am I having like any magical trance abilities? That did okay damage. Yeah, it's like physical damage doesn't do shit now. Yeah, physical damage is worthless. It has to be magical. Well, what the fuck? What kind of, like, retarded ass shit is this, man? So I have, so I have to use holy. Or summons. You die, thank you. Thank you for dying, you annoying cunts. Jeez. Does that boss normally act like that in vanilla? Because I don't remember. I don't know. I remember killing that guy a lot easier in vanilla. But he's finally dead. Thank goodness, man. That was a hard-fought battle. 
didn't really have an optimal party for it probably but you know these characters need to uh, get some screen time but there you go there's a Taharka boss we stole dark gear which is really 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 good by the way yeah raise the spirit teaches you clear-headed much better defense oh yeah oh yeah finally clear-headed for Zidane finally clear-headed for uh, for Amaranth Alright, so we're going to start our backtracking out of this place. Watch your step. Anyways, what you want to do is, whoops. Yeah, you want to drop down this one here. Because we can get a chest with a maiden prayer. This uh, can be equipped by females. Uh, it teaches, yeah, it teaches auto regen. I've gotten one already, apparently, from a chakra graph, I think. Actually, this guy. Uh, Oh shit. Well that was fucking bullshit. Utter bullshit. Fuck you game. I didn't even know about that hole. Alright, now that we're back at the beginning, what you want to do is you want to go up this way. And as we traverse this uh, thing, as you can see, there's a couple treasures up there that we couldn't get to before. Now, you might remember earlier on in the video I said something about it doesn't make sense why we can't go up there. 
Well, it still rings true. Why the hell couldn't we go up there before? That makes no sense. Alright, so we get a crappy air racket. And we're gonna go down this thing. Golem's flute, that's a crappy flute. It's an old flute, I believe. I think. Well, older. But anyways, as you can see, we have some weird electrical sword thingy here. What you want to do is you want to take these flower-looking pot thingies and you want to rotate them in a counterclockwise fashion. How are you supposed to figure this out? I don't know. I'm having the foggiest clue, man. Anyways, you grab it and we get the ancient aroma, which will allow us to teach the princess, the uh, Odin sword support ability for her, for the uh, the Odin summon that we don't have yet. more for good measure, huh, game? Right as I'm about to leave. Yeah, no thank you. I'm just gonna run. Possible, man. He had a head start. We had to fight a boss. Should have been out a long time ago. Go look for him. Zidane's gonna play hero. Luckily, we don't have to go too far. We might be able to actually scoot through here without getting into uh, any encounters. Part of the team, we're bros now. Come on, buddy. 
you need your throwing weapons. And your revive ability. And hell, your no mercy ability is pretty kick ass too. And later on, your concentrate ability is, might be useful as well. So hell yeah, man. So yeah, let's get the hell out of here. So yeah, at this point, after you get Amaranth back, uh, you can no longer fight Tonberries in Final Fantasy IX. Anywhere. Ever. So I hope you killed as many Tonberries as you wanted to kill, I guess, if you're like one of those people that really likes killing Tonberries. By one? No, we're not gonna do that. <clears throat> we got plenty of people to spread out, man. Why do you want to go with the princess? How come I don't get to go with the princess, I go? Oh, really? Look at that, Beatrix is going to go along, huh? Yeah, we're nine now. Like it should have been. Like it should have been originally, man. Again, I don't understand what the fuck the game designers were thinking. Not making her playable. Yeah, um, don't worry about equipping anybody else other than Kina and Zidane. Those are the only two characters that you need to equip for this next sequence coming up here. Kina and Zidane. Also, may I make a recommendation right away, right off the bat? Auto float and auto regen. Those are two must have abilities for this uh, next fight in my opinion. Other than that, do whatever you want. Or if you don't want to use auto float, just equip stuff that absorb earth damage because the next boss we're going to be facing uses um, earth attacks a lot. And yeah, I'm not, my party right now doesn't matter. I'll uh, adjust my equipment off screen. That's all for this episode of Final Fantasy IX. In the next episode, we're going to go around the world with the mirrors and... Break the seals to Terra. This is Veteran0121. I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.